In this video I'm going to create an organic handle for a circular saw housing. I'm using a drawing I've added to a sketch from Tools, Sketch Tools, Sketch Picture. Before I start modeling the handle, I need to do one thing. From the Power Surfacing menu, Options, I need to turn on Show SolidWorks Bodies while editing a Sub-D. This will allow me to use the picture as a template while modeling. Now I can hide the housing and create a simple box sub-D. I want to scale it to 2x2x2 two by two by two and go into edit mode. First it needs to be moved up, then it needs a couple of loops added. And I'll establish the top connection to the housing by adding another loop. Using the Extrude tool, I can get both directions started. I'm using right-click to complete the command. Now is also a good time to switch from the default Sub-D plus Cage display mode to just Sub-D. Now I can extrude the front by using Quick Extrude, holding the A key while pulling the triad. This lets me quickly rough in the shape and I can switch to any selection to tidy it up a bit more via the vertices. Moving to the other side, I'll use the A key plus the triad to block in the rest of the handle, rotating the new faces when necessary. At the bottom connection area, I'm setting the edges to 100% weighting for a hard edge. I'll do the same to the extruded face that will hold the power cord. The flat face will allow me to create a sketch off of its surface for the other features. To get the angle matching the drawing, I can rotate the triad from the triad section for more precise control. And then start blocking in the grip part of the handle. I'll flatten the top connection with 100% weight for a hard edge while I'm in the area. When I'm ready for some serious positioning, I can turn on transparency. I'm setting it to 